Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation. I'm Caner Asbaş and I'm a student of EEE 574 course. This is my program project and it is about contrast enhanced steady state gradient echo techniques. Generally, I will talk about this type of techniques and I will show some example image resulted with this technique. This is my outline. Firstly, I will talk about some background information about MRI. After that, I will mention MRI sequences and some special types of it. Then, I will talk about gradient echo sequence, the main tema of my subject. After, I will mention contrast and steady state gradient echo sequence. And finally, I will show some example images obtained with this technique. Let's start. General background. MRI has discovered by Felix Bloch and Edward Purcell in 1946. This is a vital discovery in this discipline because this proposes a very new method for imaging. This discovery has awarded with Nobel Prize. The first person who has proved an MRI scanner was Raymond Demetrius. He has built the first full body MRI scanner. Since this invention, many of the hospitals have obtained MRI scanner for imaging and it has become a worldwide technology to detect the disease and distortion. Let's talk about theory behind MRI. Atoms with odd numbers of protons and odd number of neutrons have a nuclear spin, and spin of angular momentum. This feature provides us with detecting such atoms by applying some special signal that excites spin angular momentum. Generally, H2O is chosen for imaging by exciting. However, some other atoms, for example, phosphorus, may be chosen, but this is not a common decision due to some disadvantages. In order to give some flip angles to H2O, we should make them spinning to its main axis and this requires some special sequences for signals. This is called as MRI sequence. MRI sequence is a number of RF pulses and gradients that result in a set of images with particular appearance. There are two main families of sequences with respect to type of echo recovery. One of them is spin echo sequence that uses 180 RF rephasing pulse and the other is the gradient echo sequence. We will focus on gradient echo sequence. If we want to classify the sequences with respect to their dominant influence on the tissue, we will see the classification on the screen. There are T1 weighted, T2 weighted, proton density, diffusion weighted, and some other types. These main families also have some subclasses according to applied variations such as fat suppressed and fully attenuated, etc. Here we can see some example images obtained by several techniques T1 based image, flare image, etc. Gradient echo sequence is the main family of our subject. It is based on few main principles. One of them is using gradient fields with the purpose of constituting transverse magnetization. And the second of them is using flip angles less than 90 degrees. In the slide, you can observe pulse diagram of gradient echo sequence. If we analyze this type of sequence, we will see that the flip angle is in the range from 10 degrees to 80 degrees. This provides us with tuning T1, T2 weighting. That is, larger flip angle calls more T1 weighting smaller flip angle cause more T2 weighting, in real T2 star weighting. If we consider image characterization, we will see that this type of sequence has an advantage as short acquisition time due to not requiring 180 RF refocusing pulse. However, it has a disadvantage as lot of signal from static magnetic field in homogeneity. Additionally, there are some advantages and disadvantages changing with respect to applied variety. For example, grass and 
FISB have lower tissue control than flush, but they have better SNR than flush for short TR. Here we can see some example images obtained by gradient echo sequence. This image is taken from femoral condyle cartilage. Let's talk about our main consideration, contrast enhanced steady state gradient echo sequence. This is a special type of gradient echo sequence. It provides us with better T2 contrast but lower SNR. In this method, we apply repetitive Arab pulses with small slip angles and appropriate gradient profile. As a result of this method, we obtain two resonant signals. One of them comes from FID and the other one of them comes from spin echo. This is the path diagram of contrast enhanced steady state gradient echo sequence. In this technique, gradients have to be symmetrical with respect to half time between two Arab excitations. This is a T2 star weighted instead of T2 weighted because the echo is generated by RF pulse. This method is less sensitive to susceptibility change and field inhomogeneity. In the literature, there are some other terms used for this technique. For example, contrast enhanced Fourier acquired steady state CE fat or contrast enhanced fat field echo CE FFT. Also other terms also exist. Now we can observe some example images obtained by this technique. This is an image of bright blood by this method. This is a this is an image of left ventricular outflow. This is an image from myocardial infarct. This is an image from aortic regurgitation. This is an image from pulmonary artery hypertension of patients. This is an image from pulmonary end of diastole in cardiac chamber uh, obtained by this method. This is an image from arteriovenous malformation with this method again. These are my references. Theory and sample images are taken from these sources. Thanks for listening.